Welcome to the Daily Chuckle Show, hosted by Omar. Please like and subscribe. A man decides to leave his wife and left the following letter for when she got home. It reads, Dear wife, I'm writing you this letter to tell you that I'm leaving you forever. I've been a good man to you for seven years and I have nothing to show for it. These last two weeks have been hell. Your boss called to tell me that you quit your job today and that was the last straw. Last week, you came home and didn't even notice I had a new haircut, had cooked your favorite meal, and even wore a brand new pair of silk boxers. You ate in two minutes and went straight to sleep after watching all of your soaps. You don't tell me you love me anymore. You don't want sex or anything that connects us as husband and wife. Either you're cheating on me or you don't love me anymore. Whatever the case, I'm gone. Your ex-husband. P.S. Don't try to find me. Your sister and I are moving away to West Virginia together. Have a great life. The woman then proceeds to send a reply via email. Dear ex-husband, nothing has made my day more than receiving your letter. It's true you and I have been married for seven years. Although a good man is a far cry from what you've been. I watch my soap so much because they drown out your constant whining and grappin. Too bad that didn't work. I did notice when you got a haircut last week, but the first thing that came to mind was, you look just like a girl. Since my mother raised me not to say anything, if you can't say something nice, I didn't comment. And when you cooked my favorite meal, you must have gotten me confused with my sister because I stopped eating pork seven years ago. About those new silk boxers. I turned away from you because the forty nine ninety nine price tag was still on them, and I prayed it was a coincidence that my sister had just borrowed $50 from me that morning. After all of this, I still loved you and felt we could work it out. So when I hit the lotto for $10 million, I quit my job and bought us two tickets to Jamaica, but when I got home, you were gone. Everything happens for a reason, I guess. I hope you have the fulfilling life you always wanted. My lawyer said that the letter you wrote ensures you won't get a dime from me. So take care. Signed, your ex-wife, rich as hell and free. P.S. I don't know if I ever told you this, but my sister Carla was born Carl. I hope that's not a problem. I'll see you next time and please remember to subscribe.